the adrenaline rush you get from looking at it is the same rush you get from driving it. Vintage cars are by far my favorite. I don't even like any of the new cars. You couldn't give me one if you tried. We found a really nice Ford body about 20 years ago. So I'd save that with the hopes of building a hot rod. It was supposed to be a sedan delivery. I was told anyways that uh, back doors for delivering milk or something to somebody back in the day. I liked the car because it had rear doors instead of a typical hot rod with a rear window in the back. Dave never intended this ride to be a pure restoration. He wanted the car he had in his imagination. As a lifelong Chevy guy, many of the parts he's used on this Ford are Chevy. The paint job was inspired by a pair of his wife's high heels. The build took Dave and his friend Keith two years. When I tried to build it with an S10 frame, put the body on top of an S10 frame, it just looked like somebody had put a body on top of a newer vehicle. It didn't, it didn't look proper. So I, wanted, I, I sourced out and found Keith to build a custom chassis, all lowered. You can see how low the car sits to the ground. The body actually hangs over the car and the, the chassis is up inside the car. You could look at this car for two hours and you won't, you'll never see everything. I would say about 5% or maybe even less is the original car. This ride might only be 5% original Ford, but it's 100% vintage. We took this wheel and we, we milled it so that the original Chevy emblem or the Chevy hubcap would fit inside. We went with a Velocity Stack air breather. This would have been from the, the mid 30s. These are actually original 1930 uh, front frame horn. This is the hood ornament. Probably one of my favorite pieces of the whole car. 22 karat gold plated. The windshield is a, is a uh, is also an original piece. These drip rails, very very hard to find. We managed to find an original set that were in really great shape. So this was a painful process. We painted the car red, then I painted it black. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I came across these. They're off. Uh, a mid-30s Chevy pickup and we took the original windows out of the original door. This is would have been a, a racing slick used back in the 50s. If you're standing here when the car's running, it literally will blow you away from the car. Welcome to my cockpit. Our reverse, neutral, forward, and then we have second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. This came out of a Galaxy, an old Galaxy from the 60s, early 60s. The steering wheel removes so you can get in and out of the car with a little more ease. When somebody sees this car, it's, it's, that's, that's the reward right there. Just their, their look on their face. Some of them are like, wow, what is that? You get that a lot. What kind of car is that? It's a lot of work to drive a vintage car. You're like hanging onto the wheel and hanging onto the shifter, and every little, you feel every little bump in the road, every little crack. Where a new car is just so smooth and easy to drive. You can fall asleep at the wheel. You'll never fall asleep at the wheel driving a vintage car. That's for sure. I never built the car to be a show car. I built it to drive and have some fun.